I expect the regions where I'm holding these holes fixed to be areas of concern where I'm going to get stress concentration and high stress gradients. So if I zoom in over there using the right mouse button, I see that, you know, it's I, perhaps I can use a finer mesh around these holes, particularly the smaller ones. And I'll do that by applying a sizing to these three surfaces. So click on mesh control, sizing, and we'll apply the sizing to the to faces or areas rather than the body as we did before. So make sure the face selection filter is selected and then you can go and select which faces you want to apply the sizing to. So let me select that face. Um, and you can see that answer is telling me, hey, do you want to select this face or do you want to select uh, the face at the back? And it highlights that, you know, using dotted lines. And in case I want to select that, I can go there and that is a back face and I can confirm that by holding down the middle mouse button. Uh, let me zoom out using the middle mouse wheel and then okay that is um, that is not the face I want to select so let me go back and select the face that I want and if I want to go back to my original view I can just click on previous view until I get the um, the previous view that I want and then for multiple select hold down the control button and select this face and this face. So you've selected three um, faces or areas and click apply. So this sizing I'm going to apply to these three faces and the element size I'm going to set to 0.1 inch which is half of the body sizing that um, we have already applied. And if I go here it shows me what that 0.1 inch looks like on the model. And in comparison, if I highlight the body sizing, it shows me what the 0.2 inch looks like. So you look at the circle around the bullseye. So that's a handy way to check, you know, approximately what your element size is going to be. So that looks uh, reasonable. So I'll say update. And that will remesh the part. And let me take a look at the mesh. Okay, it did refine the mesh around um, the holes as we expect and um, and I can look at it closer by you know holding down the middle mouse button and manipulating the model um, but one thing to watch out for is where you have the transition from the point one inch to the point two inches so um, those you know the transition areas can be a problem and that's something I need to watch out for but if I zoom out um, say I do fit model to view that looks like a decent initial mesh and if I go to the mesh statistics I see that I have about 2500 elements and about 13,000 nodes and each of these three each of these nodes has three components of the displacement so then ANSYS constructs the algebraic model, uh, algebraic equations, you'll have approximately, you know, uh, the number of nodes times three. So you're going to have about 39,000 algebraic equations and part of it you don't have to solve because you know the displacements from the boundary conditions. So it's, it's a pretty big system that will invert. So save the project.